What was your experience with the original animated Lady and the Tramp? Um, yeah, I mean, my, my experience with it was one of just absolute wonder at it, I think, as a child. It taught me a lot about the importance of home, of family, but also of, the, of being curious about the outside world um, and, and other, you know, people in it. Um, I think seeing the spaghetti scene at a young age really um, captured my imagination in terms of love and, and romance um, in a real innocent way that's always stuck with me. I think, you know, dogs for whatever reason, and I, had, I grew up with dogs, whatever, have always resonated with me. So any dog story I was immediately um, sort of locked in on. I don't think as a little boy, I don't think the, the romance part resonated as much. <laughs> I remember even the spaghetti scene thinking at one point, like, is spaghetti that long? And how come my spaghetti doesn't have this big, long thing? And, um, <laughs> I was really more breaking down the mechanics of... You know, and then just spent, you know, every time I got spaghetti, just slurping it in and getting tomato sauce all over my face. Um, but yeah, I, but it was definitely one of those adored movies, you know, like many of the Disney films. Um, for those of us who aren't familiar with this story, what is the story about? A lot. Um, there's obviously the central romantic theme, um, but I think it's about two, um, I'm going to say people, but dogs. Yeah. Um, guiding each other to a different point of view that they feel entrenched in, you know. He is of the belief that love and family is only the one that you can create away from people um, and, uh, and that humans can't expect, be expected to be loyal ever. Um, she's of the belief that home is where your people are and your house is, which you could, Tessa could speak more and to And what you ought to be loyal to. Yeah. Um, and you know, there, there are two people who are, who are very wed to their own belief system who end up finding a common ground. Um, and in our movie, at least, and in the animated movie, too, there's a very happy result. Um, what does this new version of Lady and the Tramp have to offer? Uh, well, I think it has, um, obviously I'm partial, but, you know, the use of two fantastic, perform many fantastic doggy performers, um, um, incredible technology in synthesizing their work and whatever sort of digital animation that they had to do. Um, new, uh, new takes on some of the ideas of the original film and also great music performance. Uh, what else? It's, uh, wildly more diverse than the uh, original. Um, it feels more contemporary. Um, it underscores, I think, even more than the original, sort of the need for shelter dogs to find homes. Um, it's just a, it's, I think it's a, a delicately done updating that uh, is just as satisfying as the original. Um, would you describe the process of giving voices to these puppies? It was a rolling stone, kind of. Like, it wasn't something that, that just sort of, you know, fell off the truck. You know, we... Charlie, our director, wanted us to kind of stay in, more in our own voices than anything else. We didn't want to take any big swings at you know accents or anything like that. Um, and then we had a wonderful interplay with each other. We were able to record together um, and see the thing come to life as we were recording and uh, and seeing different scenes cut together and and uh, and then altering them and improvising and yeah, and just fun. I think. You know, I was just always so charmed, particularly after they started shooting the scenes when we get to come in and, and watch them in their scenes together. Just the idea that my voice would be coming out of this face. I know. Um, yeah, <laughs> like so cool. I want to I wanna do other films together with her. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. But like outside of this. Even the Marvel Universe. I mean, yeah, knows? right? <laughs> Doggy superhero yes. on a Pegasus. I would watch that a thousand percent. It's just flying through space. Um, so lastly, Lady and the Tramp is amongst the first films, original films, to debut on Disney+. Plus. How do you think fans will embrace the new streaming service? I would hope they would embrace it the same, you know, look, I think it's, it's up to... Uh, people like us and the and creators and Disney to uh, to create quality content you know I think uh, you know I think uh, 
I won't speak for myself, but I will speak for the filmmakers and, and Tessa, you know, that I think this movie has done that. Um, and uh, obviously they have a, a deep and vast library of, of films, but um, the exciting part is going to be seeing all the stuff that they create, you know. Um, uh, it's, it's the birth of a new channel, for lack of a better word, so it'd be cool. Mm -hmm. I'm optimistic. That's my...